Greetings, everyone. Well, possibly a shorter one for you this week on A Closer Look. We're going to be taking a look at the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook Edition of Westworld Season 1, the absolutely fantastic HBO series based on... Eh, sorry, didn't mean to bump the mic. Based on the old movie. Well, I guess old movies. <laughs> So Westworld, the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook Blu-ray. Today, on A Closer Look on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Now, I was a huge fan of Westworld growing up. It was one of the first sort of... Uh, I guess you could almost call it a sci-fi horror movie. Uh, it scared the hell out of me as a kid. <laughs> and it was the first thing I ever saw Yul Brynner in. Uh, now, of course, I know that Yul Brynner as the gunslinger was kind of a sly wink and nod to all the various uh, westerns that he's done in the past. But uh, to me, he was always that killer robot guy from Westworld. <laughs> it has been said that Westworld was actually a big inspiration for the Terminator as well, because the, the gunslinger is very much like the Terminator in The Terminator. Uh, basically just this unstoppable robot killing machine going around uh, just not giving up after you. Must get you. Will kill you. You know, it's just scary stuff knowing that there's this thing out there that its sole focus is it wants to kill you. You know that's that's scary. That's scary stuff. So we had the we had Westworld, and then of course a few years later we had Future World, uh, which had Yul Brynner come back. It stars Peter Fonda. We swear the robots work this time. Actually, this one actually gets into actually 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 some uh, conspiracy theory type stuff, where basically they're using the West, well I guess Future World robots. And, and there's a plot to replace the politicians of the world and things like that. So you get into the old robot duplicates being put into positions of power so, you know, we can take over the world and stuff like that. Then there was actually a short-lived TV series called Beyond Westworld, which is available on DVD from Warner Archive. I do plan to pick that up at some point. I just haven't got around to it yet. So that particular TV series did not do very well. It only lasted like eight episodes, like not even not even a, like half a season, and then it was canned. The pilot episode of that is included on the Westworld uh, Blu-ray, which is kind of nice. So I have seen at least the first episode, and and it's fine. I mean, it's perfectly functional as a '70s Westworld TV series. But when you compare it to the HBO one, holy moly! The HBO series has taken things in a whole new direction. I was kind of and, you know, cautiously optimistic when I heard they were doing a TV series based on Westworld. Because I always really liked the concept of it. Basically, uh, a leisure world that you go to that's themed. Uh, in this case, a Western theme. When you go and you can... there, There's brothels there. There's bars. You can get into barroom brawls. You can get into showdowns. And the whole idea was that humans could not be hurt. You could kill the robots... But uh, all of the guns and whatnot were set to detect humans, so they wouldn't actually hurt humans. Uh, needless to say, something goes horribly wrong and people start getting killed. Also in, uh, in Westworld, it wasn't just Westworld, there was other worlds as well. So there was uh, Roman world, for example, where you could go and just, you know, have a feast, be an emperor, enjoy an orgy, whatever you like. Uh, all the excesses of Roman culture at your beck and call. And Future World, at the time, I think was mentioned, but was still under construction, so that one wasn't ready yet. So kind of cool when we got a movie of Future World, and... Um, finally got to see it in action honestly i mean the second one is nowhere near as good as the first one it's still fine i mean it's still perfectly you know decent 70s dystopian sci-fi but um westworld is by far the superior one so when i heard they were doing a new tv series i was kind of cautiously optimistic i mean obviously i wanted it to be good because i loved the old movie so much you, you know how reboots and remakes go right i mean they're kind of hit and miss mostly miss but the fact they were doing it as a tv series 
rather than just as a, a, a remake movie or something, was interesting to me. I'm like, oh, I wonder what direction they're going to go. Like, how can they... And I always felt that the concept had enough steam in it to be sustained over perhaps a TV series or at least more movies. I was kind of curious to see what direction they go. And they've gone in some crazy interesting directions, actually, where the original movie was basically just they had the, the park and the robots, and then there was a virus that made the robots go crazy and kill people. This one actually gets into some some very topical subjects, namely that of AI and the emergence of artificial intelligence and how the robots, it's not just a virus, they're actually becoming self-aware and sentient and beginning to remember all of the, the horrible things that the guests have done to them over the years and how their backstories have been changed to accommodate what the, the people who run the park want to have happen. So they're they're coming to question what's real and what isn't what am i like trying to find their own identity and it gets into some really heady stuff and not only that but it has this wonderful non-linear style of telling the story where a lot of the time you think you're just seeing a a to b to c sequence of events but you're actually not sometimes you're actually seeing flashbacks and not even realizing that you're seeing flashbacks and it's amazing i just love how this show not only explores some really interesting subjects, has a great cast, but it also keeps you on your toes and keeps you guessing. And it's not done like in a gimmicky way. It's done in a very deliberate way, where it's structured this way very intentionally to kind of keep you off guard and off balance. It's almost like it's mirroring how the robots are perceiving the world, how their view is askew and and out of sequence and sort of questioning what's real, what isn't, uh, and, and stuff like that. So it almost puts you, the viewer, into the same kind of headspace as these robots that are becoming self-aware and putting the pieces of the puzzle together of their own lives, which I think is just freaking brilliant. So this show works on so many levels and is so rewatchable. So needless to say, I wanted to grab the Blu-ray as soon as it came out. I just kind of lucked into the Steelbook. I went to Best Buy. They had a few left. And I was like, wow, I really like that cover. And uh, I think I'll get that one. All the contents are the same as the regular edition. Uh, there's been a few different editions that have come out. I'll just give you a look at a couple of them. There's, for example, this 4K edition, so you can get it in Ultra HD if you like. Uh, this is available in both just a regular uh, 4K pack and this edition here, which is actually a metal pack. So, so there's both a steel book and a metal pack. That's kind of rare. So you can get that for the 4K edition. And then, of course, there's the regular edition, which has this cover, which is also a really nice cover. Um, actually, to be honest, the only one I'm not really wild about is the 4K cover because it's, it's got that big plain red and uh, the logo on it. I like the regular cover. I think there's a slip cover for it as well, which is nice and textured. And then the steel book here, of course, which is also very nicely textured. But uh, let's get a closer look at it, shall we? I've actually been dying to open this up because uh, I wanted to do this as kind of an un unwrapping, not an unboxing. There's no box here. It's just saran wrap. So let's go down to the black box and check out Westworld, the complete first season, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook Edition, Blu-ray thing. Go. Okay, here we go. The Westworld Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. Very nice. Uh, well, you can you can kind of see the texture. It's a little hard to see with the saran wrap on. We'll take that off in a minute here. And there's the back. Very nice. Lots of bonus goodies on there. And there is the spine. And the top, which is upside down. There we go. The top. And the bottom. And the the side that you open it. Alright, let's let's tear this bad boy open. Do, do, do. I'll never understand why they call it an unboxing when there's no box. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that song. I'll put the single on iTunes. All right. So here we go. So fairly standard. We got the, uh, the backing here. Oh, and there you go. See, so now now it's all nice and clean without the, the ugly Blu-ray bar on the top. Yeah. So very nice indeed. So we'll just set that aside. 
So this uh, comes with some bonus stuff. Just take a look here. Just got to take it off. Here we go. We got some uh, art cards. So we'll check those out in just a moment here. So that was one of the incentives for uh, for getting it. So there we have the, the Westworld logo. Very nice. So I'm just going to open this up over here for a moment and take the... Uh, Oh, there's no digital copy one. Okay, I thought there was a digital copy in here, but apparently there is not. It's just, uh... Oh, no. It says there is a digital copy. Well, where the heck is the paper? Well, good thing I don't care about digital copies, or I might be cross. So there's the inside. So we got three discs. It's a short season. It's like Game of Thrones. There's only ten episodes per season. So we'll, uh... We'll just pop the discs out here for a moment. And then we'll take a look at the, uh, hold on, hold on a second, got to be very careful taking these out, there we go, alright, and there we go, so we got a little bit of artwork there, so the humanoid figure in the circle is very reminiscent, I find, of uh, Da Vinci's Vitruvian Man, you know, the, uh, the person, the man in the circle. But, uh, and I'm sure that was a very deliberate uh, reference. Uh, on the regular DVD cover, you see, uh, I think it's a female figure, actually, in the circle. So the Vitruvian woman, if you will. So very cool. So let's put, uh, let's put these discs in here. Yeah, I really wanted to get this closer look done because I'm really eager to re-watch this series in uh, Blu-ray quality. And, uh, of course, check out the, the extras as well. So... Very nice indeed. There we go. Get everything nice and straight. There we go. All right. Very pretty. So the uh, the cover here actually has a nice matte finish. You can see the uh, the embossing for the maze design there. It's very cool. So this season was season one, the maze. So I'm guessing that means every season is going to have its own kind of uh, theme, as it were. Some shows like to do that. They kind of name their seasons so if we take a look at the back here we've got lots of extras i'll just quickly uh read them off to you while i'm you can look at the the beautiful cover for a little bit more uh special features realizing the dream first week on the set of westworld imagining the main title the key to the chords which I, i'm guessing is about the music uh, the music is by ramin jawadi in this by the way uh, another game of thrones connection uh, he also did the music for pacific rim and uh, lots of other stuff really amazing composer uh gag reel welcome to westworld crafting the narrative an invitation to the set about the series the reality of ai westworld and the big moment featurettes so yeah quite a lot of um Quite a lot of goodies on there, but I mean, HBO never really skimps on the extras. They always give you lots to uh, to enjoy. So, shall we check out these art cards? Yeah? Yeah, I think we should check out the art cards. Let's do that. Just going to uh, open them up here very carefully. Is it art cards or is it a book? Oh, it's a book. <laughs> it's actually a book. I thought it was art cards. So, oh, oh wait a minute. There's, oh, hold it a second. Here we go. Yeah, I think we found the digital copy. <laughs> Hang on. So they're just a cardboard backing just to hold everything straight. Black on the back. Very nice. Season 1, The Maze. Oh, yeah. So there's an ad for Game of Thrones Season 7, which, of course, as you know, I recently picked up. And then on the back is the digital code. So there you go. Good luck trying to x-ray through my finger. Haha. -ha. All right. So first up... We have, okay, so we just have, uh, sorry, getting little bits of stuff all over. Uh, we just have a nice little insert here. Give you a look. This gives you a breakdown of the cast. And then uh, inside you get the breakdown of what's on each disc. So, very cool, indeed. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, lots of, lots of special features on, on every disc there. That's, that's pretty cool. And then, there we go. All right. So here we have the Corporate Guidebook, a handbook for new employees of Westworld from the Delos Corporation. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot about this. I actually bought the, uh, the set uh, essentially when it first came out. So, oh, look at this. I have not, so this is all new to me as well. That is really cool. You're actually seeing it right side up. I'm uh, seeing it upside down. Okay, so you get like a map 
of all the facilities underneath the main park and oh, okay so all about the the AI programming and sort of key points very cool I really like all the explorations of AI in this it's really quite interesting so again narrative so the individual stories of uh, well the overall story of the park and then the individual stories of the characters uh, storyline builder template so we got all this this is actually really cool I'm going to uh, enjoy going through this but as you can see I mean it goes pretty heavily into uh, the whole concept of AI and how personalities are constructed how backstories are constructed and everything so it, it's kind of like uh, with Blade Runner how they talk about giving the replicants memories so that they have some kind of context for their existence uh, well that's very much what this is about it explores that but on a much grander scale um, where they have uh, you know they get into how the the intelligence and and minds of the various robots are programmed how they're given backstories so they have their own history and then also they have sort of little therapy and q a sessions with them where they kind of talk about what they're thinking and what they're feeling and and stuff uh, partly just to kind of see how the ai is developing make sure it's on track but also to make sure there aren't any problems like if the robot's questioning things that it shouldn't be questioning and things like that because they obviously want to keep the guests safe that's the top priority so yeah really really interesting stuff really good all right so that is that ladies and gentlemen that is the west world limited edition steel book and corporate guidebook <laughs> from best buy very nice indeed oh yeah i guess while we're down here i should give you a, a look at the two movies there you go there they are there's the movies <laughs> and there's all the extras very nice let's uh let's just take a bit of a close look here so here's here's west world the original where it all began really not much to see in there but uh but it does have some cool extras we've got uh okay it has a couple of extras it's got an archival featurette uh the trailer and the 1980 tv pilot for beyond westworld which was the very short-lived first attempt to bring westworld to television flipping it over there's the back all right and then future world here we go so this was um so this one was just put out by warner brothers this one was put out by shout factory because for whatever reason warner brothers just wouldn't put it out so shout factory got the license and put it out for us thankfully um so here we got yul brenner back and we got peter fonda and blythe danner which is quite nice and then uh on the back there you go we uh, take a look inside Got one of these annoying clip things I'm going to fix that in just a moment here oh there we go a little a little more colorful uh, packaging here we actually see the gunslinger and if we pop the disc out yeah there we go Yul Brenner terrifying as uh, many would describe as the original Terminator <laughs> so very cool and it's a very nice uh, colorful artwork on the uh, disc is that I'm wondering if that's from the original poster art well if that's part of the original poster art why don't we get that here instead of just a picture of you know taking a face off a robot I don't know maybe maybe it's a rights issue well you can put a piece of it on the desk but you can't put it on the cover fine be that way
So in terms of extras here, we don't have a lot. We've got the theatrical trailer, radio spots, and a still gallery. Woo! Don't go all out now or anything. Yeah, I don't know why, but both of these um, Blu-rays are just kind of lacking in extras. But that's okay. I mean, at least we got the movies, right? And that's what's really important. So, yeah. So I still have to pick up Beyond Westworld, as I think I've mentioned like three times now. I will do so at some point. Um, yeah, I have, of course, seen the pilot episode because it's on here. But, uh, yeah, it's on here in standard definition, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's not high def. So whether you get it here or on the DVD set, you're getting the same quality. Bam! And the saran wrap's back on. I'm magic. What can I say? All right. Well... That was a little more long-winded than I thought it was going to be. But, I mean, it, I, I figured since I'm really only showing you one little thing, why not talk about it a little more? Anyway, so you got a combination, closer look, and review. Alrighty, that is it from me to you for now. We'll see you again next week for another closer look. Until then, thank you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, and I'll see you next time. Until then, sayonara.